Look at Seth Curry, heavy, heavy favorite now, minus 320. It's the one thing lacking from his resume. There's Tatum plus 350. You've already mentioned how disappointing he's been. But Andrew Wiggins, Andrew Wiggins plus 1,400. We saw what he did last night. But let's keep in mind here, too. Second on the team in scoring in these finals, tops in rebounding on the Warriors and blocks, Nick. It, there would be nothing funnier just from like an objective comedy perspective than Steph Curry somehow losing the finals MVP <laughs> yeah. that he had such a tight grasp on to Andrew Wiggins yeah. uh, of all people. But I mean, it was, a, it, it's hard to say it wasn't a dramatic swing last night with Stephen Curry playing so badly and Curry play, or, and Wiggins, um, excuse me, playing so well. Uh, but I, I still think Curry, you know, if, if the Warriors win the title, barring, you know, Andrew Wiggins going for like 50 in a game six victory on the road, um, it's still hard to imagine any other warrior, but Stephen Curry getting the award. For Boston, I'm starting to think it's wide open at this point. I, I think everybody is down on Jason Tatum. I know he's still like the heavy favorite among Celtics players. I don't really get that. I, I think he's been bad enough now for basically four out of five games um, that he's kind of made this an open competition. The problem is, you know, Jalen Brown didn't really seize the opportunity last night. You know, same mm -hmm. with Marcus Smart, same with guys like Al Horford who are kind of in contention for this. Uh, and it's interesting. You know, if you look at the odds right now on DraftKings, the only Celtics on the list are Tatum, Brown, and Smart. And I, I get that. You know, it's probably going to be one of those three. But to me, it's, it's wide open for Boston. Like, nobody's played well enough that it feels like they should be the, the clear leader. And let's say Boston wins game six at home and sets it up for a game seven. If they win game seven, I could kind of see it being like whoever's the best player in that game seven on the road could just get finals MVP. Fryer, who would you consider betting right now for series MVP besides Chef Curry? Uh, I think Andrew Wiggins has to be the guy right now that yeah. you're looking at because, I mean, if you, if you have any faith in the Warriors pulling this off, whether it be in six or seven, I mean, after these two games and what Steph Curry did in that first one, the only thing is that when we're talking about any type of awards where it's voting and based on the media and what they're going to decide, you have to consider narratives and different things. And Stephen Curry, where we've heard, like, you know, not winning that, that finals MVP and all this stuff, that could still play into his advantage if he bounces back over these next couple games. Or if it's just one game, that's going to hurt him and go to Wiggins, who, again, you're talking about, like, reclamation project and everything to me that they would want to reward a guy like that who stepped up in a couple big games when his team was down 2 one in the series and albeit they weren't out by any stretch at that point um, but if you're I think Nick was spot on when you're talking about the Celtics it's wide open I would lean more Jalen Brown at this point but it's really going to come down to if the Celtics win it's going to be who, who steps up in these last two games yep. and if there's one person who steps up big time in game seven yeah it's probably going to go to that person all right Pratt what do you think right now what are your thoughts on the MVP market Obviously, Wiggins is the clear target here, if you believe in the Warriors. Because if Curry has another bad game, yes. if Wiggins goes for, you know, 25-plus, then this maybe shifts to, hey, this could be his award. And then on the Celtics side, I'm actually kind of thinking a little differently than these guys. I think if you're going to bet on a Boston player right now, it should be Jason Tatum. Because if the Celtics are going to win, he's going to have to step up in this series. And Jalen Brown, I think he had his chance and it's fair to say that he lost it last game because when you're not the big name from your team and you don't have the narrative behind you, like Jason Tatum does, you can't have bad games and expect to be a contender for finals MVP. You can have subpar games, but you can't have bad games. And that's exactly what Jalen Brown did last night. Five for 18 from the field, a team high five turnovers, a team high minus 19 besides him getting to the foul line consistently. There was nothing to like, about what he did in game five. And I think if the Celtics are going to pull out this series, it is because Jason Tatum is going to continue to step up and carry the load offensively.